Now what we're going to do is create a new layer on top of our top layer. All right. We're going to hold shift and in the middle of the star I want you to drag straight up right off the top of it. All right. So I hope none of you are epileptic or have any eye problems, I apologize. That is very bright and very hard to see, I understand, but we're going to go ahead and fix that pretty quick. So let's go ahead over here and change the blend mode to overlay, and we're going to back that down to about 80%, roughly. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take that layer and duplicate it. All right, we're going to duplicate that layer because now we actually want to change this to color dodge. Okay. Now that we change it to color dodge, we want to bring it down even further, say to about oh 17 to 20 percent. All right. Now that we've done that. Uh, with this layer selected, okay, we're going to go up here to image, and as you can see, some of the tools here are off, but that's because of the layer we have selected. So don't worry about that if you if you go up here and you see some of these that are grayed out that's just because what we're doing at the particular time is not allowed so we need to go ahead and go ahead and reveal a layer mask so to do that we'll go to layer layer mask and reveal all okay so that makes us a little mask over here now what we're going to do is we're going to pick black on our color palette we got our nice soft brush. Let's go ahead and size it back down and you can do that with the left and right bracket keys or by coming up here and using this slider bar. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're just kinda kinda paint in some of the areas. Darken it just a little bit. Yeah, like this right here and you can see it's really starting to look gritty and really good so once you're happy with the areas you've darkened I recommend grabbing the blur tool and sizing it down and just kinda giving it a quick once over around the outside now don't blur the star don't go inside on the star because that will really change things and make it look odd we just want to blur a little bit around the edges okay so now let's scroll back down to our very first shape and I want you to hold control and click it so as you see the marquee selects the rounded area now we're going to go ahead and make a new layer and with the new layer selected and our marquee highlighted we're actually going to go to our filters we're going to go to render and well first actually let's go ahead and make sure we have a white and black background otherwise we're going to get some crazy colors that's going to look off so we're going to go to render clouds alright and you can see kind of strange looking clouds there and looks really odd but we're going to change the blending mode on it as well so let's go with the blending mode we're going to go with soft light and let's bring it down to roughly Oh, let's say 65%. All right. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and click our top layer, and we're going to add one more adjustment, which is a levels adjustment. Okay. And so we just want to just barely darken it a little bit we don't want it to be too dark okay all right um, so the values were 14 we'll leave the middle alone and 236 on the end all right now that we've done that with our top layer selected let's hit control alt shift and the letter E and that's going to merge all our layers into this one picture here okay now once that's done let's grab our color burn tool 
Make sure it's set to highlight with an exposure of 100. And let's just gently go over some of these areas that are just really, really bright. And for some, like the star, let's bring the exposure back down to about 30%. And we'll, we'll go over it here like that. Alright. And that looks pretty good. Um, so, and you can play with it however you like. If you like to have the star even darker, you know, you can you can kind of darken out the areas like this, kind of how it comes out. But all around, you you come out with having a really really nice star. Now, if you want to get rid of this background and cut this out, the easiest way to do it is to come back all the way back down here to Shape One, hold Control, and click. All right, come back up here and make sure you have your the layer, the top layer we just made selected. And let's go over here to image. Well, actually we could crop it, but let's cut it. Let's cut it. That's what we're going to do. All right. Then we're going to make a new and a new layer and a new document and it's going to know automatically the size that you have but let's go ahead and choose 1600 by 1600 again alright choose OK now let's paste that in see how it looks alright so there you are and the good thing about this is you can actually merge it with this layer, then use your magic eraser tool, get rid of the background altogether, then you can save it as a PNG file. So we'll name it Caps Shield. Okay? And you can save the PSD. Uh, from over there or in this case I, I'd recommend going with PNG on this and that's because it the background is already removed for you so you're ready to take this and put it into any photo you want and it's going to be great you can marquee text across it if you'd like to put your name inside the star anything you want to do with it the sky's the limit and this has been a really fun project. I hope you guys got something out of this. And the reason I decided to do this in the first place was just I could not find on YouTube a good tutorial on how to make a realistic looking Captain America shield. And, you know, there's many different ways you can do it. But I think this turned out well. It's a fun project to do. So let me know in the comments if you had fun doing this. And... Stay tuned for more tutorials, and thanks for checking out my video. Have a good one.